Well, hello there. How you doing? It is Wednesday night at 9 p.m. and time for the Ho'oponopono healing meditation with me and you. Welcome, welcome. As always, what have you done today to make tomorrow a better place to live? Hey, Eddie, how are you, my friend? Great to see you. Um, yeah, we're talking about what have you done today to make tomorrow a better place for you to be, for you to live. And um, with that being said, let's also just take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in fresh oxygen, fresh love, light, energy. Breathing out all stress, all anxiety, all fear, anger, dis-ease. Just breathing in and out. Good evening, Dell. So now that we've gotten our breaths out of the way, got ourselves into a nice gentle breathing pattern, let's begin to think about what we want to work on tonight. What is it that you want to clear on tonight? And it can be anything. It can be uh, financial, it can be health, it can be relationship, uh, it can be something you want to learn, something you want to do. All of the above are completely proper. Um, if you can think of it, you can clean on it. And that's what I've told people over and over again. If you can experience it, if you can perceive it, you can clean on it. Oh, great to see you, my friend. So begin to think of that. And as you're thinking about what you want to work on or what you're trying to achieve or what you want to manifest in your life, Think of it in the present moment. So don't think of it as, uh, I want to do this sometime in the near future or anything like that. Actually manifest it right here, right now. What would it be like if it were happening right at this moment? What would it look like? What would it sound like? What would it feel like? What would it smell like? What would it taste like? All of these senses, bringing them in and really focusing on what they would be like right here in the present moment. So, you know, if you were trying to manifest a new car, what would that new car look like? You know, what's the make, model, year, uh, what package is in it? Um, what would it feel like to sit in the driver's seat? What would it feel like to sit in the passenger seat? You know, if you're, uh, um, if you're trying to manifest a, uh, a um, let's see, um, a Mercedes, um, I'm trying to remember, um, their, their highest line. Um, anyway, if you're going to get something like that, which is set up more to be like a, uh, a limousine more than a, a car, but I know people who have them, um, the Maybach, um, the Maybach, you know, so if you were going to do that, then maybe you would want to manifest or, or, or visualize sitting in the back seat with somebody driving for you. You know, whatever it is, whatever you're working on, see it in the present moment, pull all of your senses together and experience what it would be like to have it. If it's a new job, look at the people that you're working with. What are you doing? Where are you doing it? Um, you know, the thing that I've been working on the most recently is just... Um, our world going back to normal. And by normal, I'm simply saying um, back to a place where we are healthy, where the world is healthy. 
And that's the first place to start. Um, and I see it in the present moment. And I know people are trying to act like that. Unfortunately, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't manifested yet, but I am manifesting it and it is working its way back to that. So this is what I work on day in and day out. And this is something that I work on a great deal because it's a huge project and I'm not the only one working on it. There are thousands and thousands of people that are in the network working on it. And, uh, and it's a huge consciousness shift. So it's all good though. And that's the beauty about it is it's all cleaning the way that it needs to, because when we return to normal, we actually want it to be a normal. So let's clear all of the things, keeping it from being, uh, back into this normal state so that we can really manifest it properly. So good evening, Matthew and Mandy. Beautiful to see you here. Um, so now we're going to clean on these things. We're going to clean on each of these things. And to do that, we're going to use the four phrases of Ho'oponopono. And those are, of course, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And as we say, I'm sorry, we're saying it to ourself, we're saying it to source, we're saying it to our connection to source. And we're saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for all of the uh, memories or data that I've brought into this situation, into this current incarnation. And when we talk about memory and data, that's what we bring into it, what we from past lives, from our family, from our teachings, from our schoolings, all of our... Um, you know, all of our thoughts, all of our beliefs, our beliefs are just data. They're data because beliefs are not truths. They are just our blockages. So when we clear on those, you know, if you think about it, what you believed a year ago is different than what you believe right now. And what you believed as a, a five-year-old child is definitely different than what you believe now because you have more information, you have more experience, you have more wisdom. So using that wisdom, we are saying, hey, I'm sorry for all of the crap that I bring into this current experience. And then you're saying, hey, anything I can see out there, anything that I can experience, I can clean on. So I'm sorry for whatever's inside of me that's causing what's going on outside. So next we say, please forgive me. And when we say, please forgive me, we're asking ourselves for forgiveness. We're asking our connection to source and source for forgiveness. And we're saying, hey, I realize that I've got all this data. I realize I have all these false perceptions. I realize there's a lot of stuff inside of me causing what's going on out here. So please forgive me. And then next, thank you. You're saying, hey, I realize this, I'm ready to take 100% responsibility for my experience and to clean on my experience. So thank you. Thank you for doing this work. Thank you for recognizing it. Thank you for taking 100% responsibility. You're saying thank you for having the opportunity to clean on each of these things. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And the next thing we would go to is, I love you. Hello, Angelina. Um, and when we say, I love you, the first thing is to be able to look in the mirror and see into your heart and say, I love you. And to truly love yourself. Each of you should be able to love yourself. We need to love ourselves. We need to have that deep love. And if you don't have it, that's the first place to start cleaning and clearing because I'm going to tell you right here, right now, you are good enough. You deserve love. And you absolutely, one billion percent, deserve your own love. You need to love yourself. We all make mistakes. We've all gone through um, trials and tribulations, and we've all done things that we wish we hadn't. That's part of life. That's part of growing up. Some of the greatest people I know were some of the worst people when they were younger, but they did it. They got through it and it changed them into great people. So love yourself 
And when you love yourself, then when you say, I love you in the world of, of clearing and cleaning and doing ho'oponopono, you're saying, I love you for taking 100% responsibility. I love you for cleaning on your own life, for your own environment, for everything that you're working on in life, for all of the data that you've brought in, for all of the memories, for all of the perceptions. I love you for taking the time and the action, action, action to clear all of these things. Uh, it's, it's so amazing. So I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And when you're doing this by yourself, you can say it in any order you want to say it. There is no right and wrong order. This is the way it feels good to me. Um, Joe Vitale starts with, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. Uh, I know some other people that say, thank you. I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. So you see, there is no right, there is no wrong. There's never a wrong. There's only a right when you're doing Ho'oponopono, especially if you're doing it the correct way, which is on yourself. I'm not doing Ho'oponopono on each of you. What I am doing is I'm doing Ho'oponopono on my perception of what y'all are going through. When I feel these things, when I feel these energies coming, I do Ho'oponopono on what I feel but I can only do it inside of me. So here we go. The four phrases that clean and clear us to a better life. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And just let that vibration move through your body. And continuing on with the theme of clearing and cleaning, we take this time to do mourner's prayer. And within mourner's prayer, we have reconciliation, not only for yourself, for your parents, for your brothers, your sisters, all of your family, all of your relatives, all of your ancestors, cleaning and clearing on everything that they've done and asking for forgiveness, realizing that there are things that you'll never know about that were done and just saying, Hey, this is my bloodline. So to clear my own bloodline, to clear everything, I ask for forgiveness, forgiveness for all of my family to all of your family. Divine creator, father, mother, son is one. 
If I, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions, from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all the negative memories, blocks, energies, and vibrations, and transmute these unwanted energies into pure light. And it is done. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions, from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all the negative memories, blockages, energies, vibrations, and transmute these unwanted energies into pure light. And it is done. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my relatives and ancestors, my family, Just a lot of emotions coming through. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start this again because just so many emotions happening at one time. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son is one. If I, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions, from the beginning of our creation to the present, we ask your forgiveness. Let this cleanse, purify, release, cut all negative memories, blocks, energies, and vibrations, and transmute these unwanted energies into pure light. And it is done. We. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our chanting and we start as always with the Ganesha chant and Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. So as we talk about removing blockages, removing obstacles, this is one of the great places to start and a very simple mantra overall. Om Gam Ganapataya Namaha. Om Gam Ganabadaya 
Namaha Om Gyam Gyanapadeya 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 We go into the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum, the mantra of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, otherwise known as Guan Yin Bodhisattva. And this mantra, Om the Jewel in the Lotus Hum, and it is, uh, it's almost a metaphor for our lives because we see that we have the jewel inside of the lotus. The lotus grows up through the mud, through the dirt, through the water, through the air to become a beautiful flower. And the jewel on the inside is our consciousness. And this jewel we polish over and over again through doing, uh, through doing our practices, through doing our spiritual practice, through doing great things, living our life cleanly. And we bring ourselves closer into our enlightenment. So the jewel is our enlightenment. It is inside the lotus. So own the jewel in the lotus. Hum is our way of moving up through our dirt, through our mud, and going into enlightenment. Hello, Juan Carlos. How are you? next mantra that we're going to work on tonight is the Medicine Buddha Mantra, the Medicine Buddha, the Master Healer, the Master Doctor. This mantra is here to clear everyone. We ask the Medicine Buddha to clear our physical body, our mental body, our spiritual body. We ask him to clean the earth, the skies, the heavens, all humans, all animals, all insects, all spirits, all beings on all planes of existence. All beings on all planes of existence. Teyata Om beckons in, beckons in, Maha beckons in, Raja Samun Gate Soha. 
Jai Ata Om Bekan Jaya Bekan Jaya Maha Bekan Jaya Raja Saman Gate Soha Jai Ata Om Bekan Jaya Bekan Jaya Maha Bekan Jaya Raja Saman Gate Soha Jai Ata Om Bekan Jaya Bekan Jaya Maha Bekan Jaya Raja Saman Gate Soha Jai Ata Om Bekan Jaya Bekan Jaya Maha Bekan Jaya Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea Raja Saman Gate Soha Jayata Om Bekunzea Bekunzea Maha Bekunzea now just take a moment and relax and just allow the medicine buddha energy to flow through you the medicine buddha's brilliant dark blue lapis lazuli light flowing through your body. Radiating out of your body into your atmosphere, cleansing and cleaning your atmosphere, radiating around the world, sharing that light And finally, tonight, we're going to chant the um, mantra of light, the Komyo Shingon. So this mantra is here to bring light into all things. So whether it be health or whether it be wealth or business or relationship, it's here just to bring light into it. Clear away the darkness by bringing in light. Oh, my. 
Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Om Bhagavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Badman Jwala Prabhupada Yahum Just take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And begin to let yourself relax into your seat, into your current posture. As we get ready now for sitting meditation, breathe in. And now, becoming more and more relaxed. And just begin to relax your head, shoulders. arms, hands, relaxing your chest, the lungs, the heart, and just let that flow of relaxation move down your body. through your abdomen, kidneys, liver, the waist, thighs and hamstrings, all becoming fully relaxed, the knees, shins, ankles, feet, and 
and just feel that relaxation flow down into the earth. Bring your attention back up to the top of your head as we open the crown chakra. And as we open the crown chakra, we begin to feel that beautiful golden light from heaven, from the pure lands, flow down in through the hand. And as we breathe in, we breathe that light into our lower abdomen. We breathe that beautiful golden light into our lower abdomen. And as we breathe out, we breathe that light down through the legs, into the feet, and out of the feet into the earth. And as we breathe in again, we breathe that light back up from the earth into the lower abdomen. and out through the crown. Breathing back in from the crown into the lower abdomen, that beautiful golden light, warming your body. Breathing out, down through the legs, shins, calves, ankles, feet, into the earth. Breathing in again, up from the earth, through the feet, ankles, shins, calves, thighs, hamstrings, waist, into the abdomen. And out, straight through the crown, back into heaven. This is our heaven and earth breathing. Breathing in again from heaven. And out into earth. Back up from earth. into heaven. And now just take the next 20 minutes of our meditation and continue this heaven and earth breathing.
Just breathe in deep through the crown, breathing in that gold light into the abdomen. And breathe out that golden light down through your feet into the earth. And this time radiate it into the earth. And now breathing in again, we're going to breathe in again from the crown. Breathe in again from heaven. And breathe out down into the earth, radiating that beautiful light, love, light, kindness, compassion, breathing in again from the crown, and breathing out into the earth, illuminating the earth with love kindness, compassion, wisdom, continuing to breathe in from the crown and out into the earth. you to take a big deep breath in and hold it. And breathing out, gently open your eyes. Welcome back. As always, my deep gratitude to each and every one of you for your support for your sponsorship of these meditations. Thank you for showing up and doing your own cleaning, doing your own work, joining each and every one of us in building this worldwide grid of light, of love. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central Time, for our Clearing Healing Meditation. Take care. Have a great night. Rest well. Or for my uh, friends in uh, India, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you, Dell. Have a great night. Good night. <laughs>